I'm going to show you to install VMware tools on Fedora 20. The first thing that you do is open up a terminal and run the command su space minus, which helps you become root, which is the admin user on Linux. The next step is to install the dependencies. Do that the command with yum install, perl, gcc, and kernel dash devil. You might run into this lock, but if you wait a second, it'll go through. And you have to select yes to install those packages. One problem that you'll run into after a fresh install is that your kernel version doesn't match the kernel devil and kernel header packages. So if you check, we've got 3.11 for the kernel and 3.19 for the packages we just installed, and so we need to update the kernel. Now ideally you would update all of the packages, but I didn't think you wanted to sit here and watch as they updated 600 of them, so we're just going to do the one. After that, you've got to reboot to put your kernel back in place. Once the VM comes back up, you're ready to install VMware tools by selecting Install VMware tools in the menu. What that does is it mounts a CD-ROM drive with all the files that you need. So back in the terminal, we're going to CD to that directory. And then we're going to copy that over to our root. CD slash root and unpack that tar file. CD into the VMware tools folder and run the Perl script that they give you. You're going to select the defaults for all of these, but if you notice that it's asking the same question over and over again, you might be missing a dependency. And just like that, you've got VMware tools installed. You'll be able to cut and paste, change your resolution, as well as get to your printers and a few other good things. Now, if you ever update your kernel, you need to run that VMware tools installer again to be able to create the new modules for it.